Making healthy changes, putting out platinum albums and leading masterclasses. It's been 20 years since Ruben Studdard took the win on American Idol. And the singer is definitely still winning in life. Keep watching to see what he's been up to. When American Idol burst onto the scene in June 2002, it was hailed as a triumph of the American dream. Here, talented but unknown singers from any walk of life could have a real chance of becoming musical superstars. Back in American Idol's second season, all the buzz was about the friendly rivalry between finalist Clay Aiken and Ruben Studdard, the larger-than-life R&B singer with the rich pipes that earned him the nickname Velvet Teddy Bear. Ruben Studdard and Clay Aiken may have been competitive finalists on American American Idol, but there are definitely no hard feelings. In fact, the two did press appearances for months immediately following the show. They also hung out together as pals and even appeared in a Broadway play for the holiday season in 2018, aptly titled Reuben and Clay's Christmas Show. As they described it, the variety show combined holiday songs with skits, comedy and bantering. For Christmas 2019, the two buds reunited once again to sing the classic song Oh Holy Night on The View. Reposting the show's video of their heartfelt performance, Studdard tweeted, I miss singing with my bro, Clay Aiken. It may be a while before the two Idol alums get to perform again. However, in early January 2022, Aiken announced that he is running for Congress as a representative of North Carolina's 6th District. If elected, he would be the first openly LGBTQ congressperson from the South, an accomplishment Studdard, a fellow Southerner who was raised in Alabama, would surely applaud. It just really upsets me that our state has become represented by these people who don't represent me. American Idol wasn't Studdard's only foray into reality TV. Studdard celebrated a triumph in 2014 when he competed in NBC's The Biggest Loser, the long-running reality show in which contestants competed to see who could lose the most weight with the help of tough trainers and lifestyle changes. Studdard's frame and gentle personality earned him the nickname Velvet Teddy Bear on American Idol, but after learning he had type 2 diabetes, he realized that his size, more than 400 pounds, was affecting his health. I don't think I've ever been as afraid as I've, I was that day. On the show, Studdard dropped just 39 pounds before being asked to leave the ranch, but he was motivated to keep going at home and eventually lost a total of 129 pounds. In an interview, he said, You know, it wasn't the working out that was the hard part. It was all the other stuff that goes along with being on the ranch, not being able to talk to your family and that stuff. It's very mentally challenging. Studdard's rich voice and appealing personality have contributed to his enduring career. Since his American Idol win, he has released eight albums, including Soulful and I Need an Angel. His 2012 album, Letters from Birmingham, was based on his short-lived marriage to Zuri McCants. Studdard told NPR at the time, I think the most important thing was for me to tell my story in my words instead of allowing other people to speculate. Many of his albums have gone gold and platinum, and he earned one Grammy nomination in 2003 for Best Male Artist. R&B vocal performance. In 2018, Studdard released Ruben Sings Luther, a tribute. The album paid tribute to the R&B great Luther Vandross, to whom Studdard has often been compared. Although he had to cancel his planned tour when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, Studdard is back on the road. He began performing again in February 2022, with stops planned in Philadelphia, Connecticut, Washington, D.C., Bermuda, and other locales. But Studdard paused his tour in March 2022 to take a different kind of stage. He's teaching two masterclasses in music at the University of Tennessee, Chattanooga. After being invited by a friend to sing the national anthem at a UTC football game there, Studdard met with Stuart Benkert, the head of the school's performing arts department, who thought the students could benefit from the idol's expertise. Benkert said of Studdard, As head of the department, how could you not want to bring in somebody like him to work with our students? I realized that he has the heart of a teacher, and it would be a shame not to let that become part of who he is. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.